Uh, first, let's catch up with today's sports news with Peter Bean. Thank you very much. Just good evening. Barcelona's got one, so have Real Madrid and Manchester United. Now Wolves have their own club museum. The new attraction, which opened today, is the first of its kind in the Midlands. Few clubs have a heritage as rich as Wolverhampton Wanderers. The likes of Billy Wright and Steve Ball aren't just heroes of Molyneux, but names etched in football folklore. So Sophie, I guess the, the difficult thing setting up this museum was knowing what to leave out. Definitely. Um, I mean, the club's got so much memorabilia and really has had this sort of culture of collecting things over the years. Um, Graeme Hughes, the historian, has done a sterling job in bringing together all these artefacts and we were just really waiting to have the opportunity to showcase them in a facility like this. Founded in 1877, this is one of the club's earliest team photos. Today's professionals may be a rather different breed, but still know what it means to pull on the golden black. My old man's a huge Wolves supporter and uh, he tells me daily um, what, uh, what it means or what it should mean to me to, to wear the armband um, at a club like Wolverhampton Wanderers. So um, I certainly am aware of, of, of the club that I'm playing for and, and what a huge club um, we are. And um, you know, we're just trying to concentrate at the moment on trying to get us back to where we feel we belong, which is the, the Premier League. The Dugans, Billy Wrights, uh, Bert Williams, and people like yeah, th these and these players put the club on the map, and um, you know you got fans of all different ages who can come to this museum, enjoy it. They might remember the Mick McCarthy promotion, the playoff final, all the all the all, those, all the FA Cup wins and things like that. So it's a brilliant club, and uh, I think this museum you know really does it proud. Among the exhibits, you'll find three of Billy Wright's 105 England caps, Steve Ball's boots and an interactive penalty shootout against keepers past and present. For the record, Carl Henry got five out of five. But probably the highlight is a cinema featuring a warts and all film on everything wolves. We've certainly not shied away from um, focusing on you know, the bad times in the club's history. I guess the one thing you really need for this museum now is just some modern day success just to, to top it all off. Yes, that would be wonderful. Even though the museum is full, I'm sure we could make space for a new trophy at the end of the season if that what, were to happen. What, watch that space. Yes, it? exactly. And uh, for the record, I didn't have a go at the penalty shootout myself. I just didn't want to show Carl Henry up, obviously. Anyway, after the excitement of...